What's up guys, welcome back to Half Man Half Tech. My name is Ben and today when it comes to iOS 12.5, I would be happy to let you know that finally Apple has released the next point update after about three months. So the update that we're talking about today, as you can see here, is iOS 12.5.5. This is a very small update, but a very crucial one indeed. And it's great to see that Apple is still supporting all devices that are even more than eight years old. So the supported device list for this iOS 12.5.5 are the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus. This one that you are seeing here is actually an iPhone 6 Plus. And then when it comes to the iPad, the iPad Air, iPad Mini 2 and Mini 3, as well as the iPod Touch 6th Gen. All those devices can actually be updated to this iOS 12.5.5. So if you do have one laying around, then you might need to pay attention to this video. Here at Half Man Half Tech, I cover iOS updates regularly. So if that's something that interests you and you are interested in Apple content, then a sub to the channel would be great. Now, as you can see here, the update size came in at exactly 59.1 megabytes and I was updating from iOS 12.5.4 and this is my iPhone 6 Plus. So if you have a different device and you're updating from a different version, you might see a slightly different update size, but it won't be too much of a difference. Now, before we look at what's changed or what's new with this update, I'll be happy to let you know that Apple also released macOS Catalina security update. So if you have a device that can only update up to Catalina and then you might also want to pay attention to the software update page as there's been something that has been updated. Now, if we go into the settings of this device and then go to general and go to the about, you'll be able to see the software version that we have there and you can see it's iOS 12.5.5 and the build number that came with this software update is 16H62. So that has been updated and in case you are curious to see the modern firmware version, you can see it there, I believe it's been updated too. So we have 7.80.04. Those are the software changes and basically I tried to see whether there are any new features or new changes that came with this update and all Apple said is that this update provides important security updates and is recommended for all users and also they said for information on the security contents of Apple software updates please visit this website. So that is the Apple security site and I have it open here in Safari. You can see here that this is the Apple security website. Anyone can basically visit it and see why Apple released, you know, this update. What are the security bugs or issues they are trying to resolve with this update? So you can see here iOS 12.5.5 and you can see the supported devices that's have, uh, that this update is available for. And if we click there, you will see that it actually has about three bugs that it's trying to resolve or security issues that it's trying to resolve. But the most important one that I would like to bring your attention to is this first one that has to do with core graphics. And you can see the impact there that it says processing a malicious crafted PDF may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So if this sounds like Greek to you and you don't really understand or hear what what's going on, I did uh, do some digging around to see what this um, crafted PDF means. So you can see that here on uh, count of Mac, it's explained in details and it says a hole allowed a hacker to break into a device with a deliberately crafted PDF. So you can see the text that I just highlighted for you here that it says this spyware was developed by NSO group and is being used by governments around the world to hack 
the smartphones of activists, politicians, journalists, and other individuals. So that is the issue that Apple mainly released this update for. If you know someone who is like an activist, a politician, a journalist, or you are related to someone like that, then you might also be targeted. But in general, Apple is a way that this issue could have been actively exploited and i believe that apple still has quite a large number of people or users that are still on other devices so they decided to release this update to be able to patch this vulnerability so as you can see it's really important and just don't click on links that you that you receive from people you don't trust or go visit websites that are not safe which I don't have HTTPS and also don't visit site that you are not familiar with or input your information. But you can see that this is quite a serious issue and it has been actively exploited. And that is the main issue that has to do with core graphics when it comes to iOS 12.5.5 that it tries to resolve. And then the second one has to do with WebKit. And the last issue that this update tries to resolve has to do with XNU. So you can see the description, a type confusion issue was addressed with improved state handling. So the main major issue has to do with core graphics where unauthorized access and spyware as well as malware could get into your device and compromise your device. So you can see that this is very important that you update to iOS 12.5.5. If you do have like a backup device that you use from time to time, it's quite important. So that actually answers the first question that I wanted to answer for you when it comes to, you know, should you update? So I would say, yes, do update your old devices. It's important. And this is not going to make your device slower for me on my iPhone 6 Plus that you are seeing here. Performance feels the same as it was on iOS 12.5.4. So no change in that aspect. And when it comes to like battery life, if we go back and go to the battery uh, section here, you can see, you know, the last 10 days, the average screen on time that I had been getting, but this was more of iOS 12.5.4. So with 12.5.5, I'll have to, you know, spend some time with it and be able to use it and see whether there's an improvement or whether it has gone down. So as you can see, this won't affect performance. It's a small update and I do recommend it for all users that have an iPhone 5S or newer and update if you know someone who's not really good with keeping their device up to date or if you don't see this update from your software update page go to general and then go to software update and turn on turn off automatic updates and search for updates again then this update will actually show up i had to do that initially and then after that i found the update and once you've updated you can always turn off automatic updates so that in case a new update comes out then you'll be able to update to it now whether apple is going to release ios 12.5.6 that is going to you know take time to see but this could possibly be the last update for ios 12.5 since you know ios 14.8 is also a back update and now we have ios 15 so we'll see whether there's another serious issue or bug that will prompt apple to release another update for other devices but other than that that's about it for me no major new features it's more of a security fix or security update now that's about it for me guys if you like this video please leave a like and stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video peace